Hey all, and welcome back to Pirates of the Caribbean, I guess. It's Kingdom Hearts 3, but let's face it, we're playing through the plot of fucking Dead Man's Chest and At World's End. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a fetch quest, uh, which I honestly don't mind. You know, I grew up playing collectathons like Banjo-Kazooie and whatnot. And even if Rare doesn't respect their roots, looking at you opening of nuts and bolts, I do. Okay. This one's pretty interesting, because again, when, when you go to this world, you get that sense that somebody played Assassin's Creed or any open world Ubisoft game, and they're like, I want this in Kingdom Hearts. So, I mean, you've got the surfing around on the different... I, I keep saying surfing, I don't know why. If you surfed it, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, you've yeah. got the sailing around in the water. You have clearly this town area where you can go around, you can find collectibles, things like that. kind of wish there were shops more, I don't know. But you really get that sense that somebody really, really, really wanted to do an Ubisoft game in Kingdom Hearts. I agree. Uh, the crabs aren't honestly too hard to find. There's a few in the ocean, but honestly you don't even have to go underwater to find any. There's plenty of like hidden caches of them around the place. And um, there are more than 300 in this world. Uh, the rest of them are optional for upgrading your ship and whatnot. Yeah, like you get crabs to upgrade your ship. And stop me if you've heard this one before, guys. Um, it seems that way, doesn't it? Um, but, but no, you collect them to upgrade the ship if you want to do more stuff on the seas. Again, I didn't really bother. It's nice to have. Um, I, it did kind of come out of nowhere where it's like, oh, we just need 300 crabs. I'm like, fucking why? What are we doing? I mean, I hadn't seen the movie, remember? I mean, I know why we're doing it now. But at yeah, the same yeah. time, I'm just like, what are we doing? Like, during, like, At World's End, like... Uh, um, Jack turns to Will and says, I'm sorry, mate, but we need to actually collect 500 didgeridoos, otherwise we'll be going to heck and whatnot. <laughs> you must find and devour the, the seven crystal babies, or you'll be stuck in deep diggeridoo! I don't know why I turned him Australian, especially when he's meant to be uh, based on a fucking British rock star, but, you know, end Tom's gonna end Tom, I suppose. And you can actually swim around uh, the area next to Port Royal. You know, I, I will say, despite the weirdness of the crab thing, I do really like Port Royal here. It's yeah. way better than it was in Kingdom Hearts 2. You can see shit, you can swim around, there's stuff to do and explore. It's actually fairly expansive, Yeah. Um. so there's a lot of different places to go to get the crabs you need uh, to continue with the game. So, no, I actually like it a lot. And the best thing, I, I doubt this would be a problem on, like, a HD console, but I wasn't really a fan of, like, the palette and the art direction. Um, for the most part, I thought it was passable in um, Port Royal in uh, KH2. But here, because it's set during the day, it just feels so much more energized, even if you're doing like fairly mundane and routine things like finding crabs and so on. I mean, even a basic change of locale can help a lot, even when you're doing tasks that, you know, yeah, could be considered repetitive. And again, there are a lot of ways to find these particular crabs, uh, lots of places to explore uh, in Port Royal. So it's not really super repetitive um i still think it's a little weird to make you just do this now but i did enjoy walking around here mm -hmm. so how was your uh, time tracking down all these things mate because we do have uh, a fair bit of time to kill here uh like how was your first run uh, did it take you that long it didn't take me that long um with uh, with again just kind of even just if you run around and do like a loop of the particular area. Again, you can stumble on caches. You have these weird sections where you have to skate through it for some reason. I don't know why, because if you get off here, like if you hit something, you get knocked off. You can just hit these crabs anyway and pick them up. I just, I guess they had to justify goofy slide thing a little more. I don't know. It's weird. It's just an easy way to get crabs that are like sort of buried into the ground and whatnot. It's fine. So, you know, actually, while we're doing this, because, again, we are just literally picking up 300 crabs, I kind of want to go back to, you know, we did mention that uh, Critical Mode has come out recently, and I still think, I do feel that, based on my limited experience, because attacks come in way too fast, it becomes more about memorization as opposed to skill. Now, I didn't get past Room 3. I know you and Brit got farther. I, I at least saw that bit of the stream where you were fighting the bosses of Olympus. What would you and he say in terms of how Critical Mode turned out? Um, well, he would say, I just love Devil May Cry, mate. And as for me, I would say, well, I'm waiting to actually play it on stream. Uh, it seems balanced enough. Um, I don't think it's going to be a patch on Critical Mode in KSG Final Mix, which is honestly actually really, really fun. But uh, I think um, just in terms of KSG3, uh, it's 
well enough implemented. Um, I, again, I can't give you like a proper opinion until I've played the thing, but uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I mean, I don't know. I didn't play Critical Mode in Kingdom Hearts 2. I especially didn't play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix for that. So I guess I don't understand why everybody was so hyped for it. From what I see, it's obviously, you know, a super hard mode. Eliminate HP. It's rewarding dodging and knowing the game for that. But it seems to, again, kind of reward people who just play the game a ton. So they've memorized everything. I prefer playing games that are more reactive. Like, for example, one huge reason I really like Transformers Devastation was because... The dodging mechanics were more reactive. You know, you can just kind of witch time out of everything. You can parry in that game, actually, which I don't know how to do. But if I knew how to parry, I bet I'd be having even more fun with it. I'm not a fan of games where it's just like, again, you kind of have to memorize what's going to come in. Like with Devil May Cry, you have to jump. Like, you can dodge and you can royal guard shit. But the safest thing to do is jump out of the way. And that's just not rewarding to me. I wish the dodge was a little better. Yeah. So... I, I guess it really depends on your play style, so... And, and I'm somebody who does not really play games over and over a lot. I typically play a game, I beat it, I'm good. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. The only games I really replay are, like, Area of Sorrow and Chrono Trigger sometimes. So it really depends on your play style. No doubt, no doubt, that the people who play this game a lot because they enjoy the combat and want to get super good at it, of course they're probably having a blast with Critical Mode. Not my speed at the end of the day, but we'll see. I have to say, I think Brit brought up a good point during, I think it was his Devil May Cry 5 review, in that in DMC5 you can block pretty much any attack. Like, if you block and you do it do it at the right time, you will block it. Not so in Kingdom Hearts, you cannot block every single attack. And I think that's actually to the game's detriment, because it's like, oh, I've just taken a gamble, really. Well, two in trade-off. You have to be super precise when you are blocking in Devil May Cry 5. In comparison, Kingdom Hearts 3 has a very generous block, but as a trade-off, you can't block everything. But their dodge roll is way better, and more invincibility frames compared to, say, again, in Devil May Cry 5, where, again, you've got to be on the nose. So, again, I'm, I'm somebody who... I mean, when I've tried to block and dodge in Devil May Cry 5, I've sit there going, I've got this, I hit this perfectly, I didn't. I'm just sitting there, how did I miss that? I don't understand. So, I, I prefer having a little bit of generosity, if only for the fact that you are not actually there in the game. So, you have that disconnect where you can't super tail precisely on the nose when it's best to dodge something. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not that kind of guy, just as an incident, I'm not going to say, Oh, well, the game's hard, better give it an easy mode. That, that's not my jive, but... I still feel like sometimes I got hit by stuff I really should have dodged. I don't know. Yeah, well, I, I won't call you uh, a John or a sore loser or anything because obviously I don't know how you played the game. You may very well have dodged and uh, the game hit you, but uh, eh, more precision, I suppose. See, we're getting there. We're almost halfway done already. Hmm. Oh boy. All right, so I should have prepared a list of crab topics. Um, top 10 crabs in Pokemon. Are there 10 crabs in Pokemon? <laughs> there are roughly four. Alright, um, Kingler's my boy. Yes. Uh... Well, I bet you there's a lucky mm, here. Well, what came before Crawdon? Does somebody come before Crawdon, or does he not evolve at all? Uh, Crabulon. Nice. Crabulon? <laughs> You fucking made that up again, didn't you? <laughs> I can't remember his name either. I remember his fucking Evo. You fucking Crabulon. Every Pokemon you don't know is just going to be Unulon or Tron, right? Well, it's, it's fun to say, okay? I don't get out much. Let me have my entertainment. Yeah, what's broke is Magneton. What's woke is Magnetron. <laughs> There you go. I don't know if Mickey actually did hard time, or someone just went mad, and his last, like, thoughts in this world was of Mickey Mouse, which kind of makes sense. When the mouse takes you over, you become part of the family, part of the ship, part of the crew. Did you actually see that video they put on Twitter where... You know, it was kind of more formal. The Simpsons were being introduced into the Disney family. That was awkward as shit. <laughs> that was, I'm just sitting there, I'm like, I am just cringing for you, my dude. It wasn't as funny as I think they meant it to be. I'm not going to say it was like full out cringe, because calling things cringe is just like, well, you're the one who reacted negatively to that. That's on you. That's not the video's fault. 
But dude, you're gonna lose subscriber. Come oh. on. Dude, you posted cringe. This ain't it, Chief. <sighs> oh man, it has been an interesting time. <laughs> we are not getting into that. You I'm mean... just mentioning it. I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm just saying th interesting things have happened since last we spoke to each other. I can't believe Goofy's wife cheated on him and then died. Like, this lore is so luscious, I can't get enough of the drama. Maybe Z Master Zaynor just needed to get laid. You ever think about that? Maybe, but he was like that, like, before his balls dropped, so what's the message they're trying to send us here? <laughs> it's like, hey, hey, Xehanort, man, me and the girls, we're gonna go out, can't talk, darkness. <laughs> <laughs> no, can't talk, studying. He was a fucking nerd in Keyblade school, let's be honest. It, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree and probably say he was a huge nerd. Now, I actually did not go to this area, so... I mean, this is a new one. I didn't know, like, an arena fight busted out here, so that's neat. There are tons of crabs here, so if you want to get infected, this is the place to be, my friend. Mmm, all the crabs you can eat. <laughs> all the crabs that are fit to itch your unders. I'm not much of a seafood guy. Um, I don't know what the tastiest seafood is, but apparently people really go for, like, crab, lobster, things like that. I just, like, I'm, I'm sorry, I got turned off by eating cod. That was just, like, bad vinegary cod. So. Yeah, ever since I saw that, like, bug slash parasite that climbs into a fish's mouth and bites You can up. stop! You can stop right there! I know exactly where you're going with that. I don't want to hear it, and that's why I'm turned off of seafood as well. Okay. Well, that's not why I'm turned off of seafood. I just don't really like insects of the sea. But uh, you give me something uh, nice and golden brown wrapped in breadcrumbs, and I'm a happy camper. You know, you can just... <laughs> you know, you can just... You don't even need anything wrapped in breadcrumbs. Just have bread. I mean, you can have it solid, you can break it up. If it's just fried bread, I think you'd be very happy. Uh, you're one step away from saying, just eat a loaf of bread, you fucking fatty. What's wrong with you? I actually try not to eat bread a lot these days. Um, I'm one of those weirdos who like to experiment with diets. I'm trying keto again. Um, let's see if that works out. It won't. Did you say keno? I love keno. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you in so many ways, but especially that way. <laughs> okay, well, I'm trying to tone down on that. I'm sorry, but Detective Pikachu was pretty fucking keno. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm fucking keno. Keno you. <laughs> Okay, it was an 8 out of 10 film, I definitely recommend you go see it. Uh, it's apparently doing decently at the box office. Uh, it's got more good reviews than bad ones on Rotten Tomatoes. It's like rated fresh right now. So yeah, if you've got, got like kids or young relatives, they will love it. Um, I really enjoyed it. The plot's not super complex or anything, but it's really enjoyable like overall as a film. Oh, I just realized we were at the beginning of the Kingdom Hearts world in 2. Huh, funny. Yeah. I'm coming! I'm flying! I'm falling! I'm falling! I'm falling with style! Don't worry, Jack, I got you the crabs. Uh, it's okay, mate. I actually only needed one. It's, uh, it's fine. Meanwhile, Jack's back there. He's like, mate, I can't do that. <laughs> You can actually, uh, as you just saw there, quick step to the ship. This will come in very handy uh, when we actually get out on open water. Just going up. Well, you got a problem with me defying gravity? You're just a little. I mean, it's not fair. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry, just gonna casually jump 30 feet? It's fine. <laughs> like, Jack's like, holy shit. Like, I think that's new. We invented that phrase just to describe this. Get fucked! It's just bye, Jack, and he just flips 30 feet into the air. Alright, what magical mysteries do collecting 300 crabs do for us? I have to admit, my, my curiosity is fucking peaked. I've got to know what 300 crabs are gonna do here. Oh, this one's bad. Throw it back. See? When you shake it, it makes noise. Oh, it's a piggy bank. Interesting. One task later. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, what did you do? He just bashed all the crabs and just used their guts to smear over the holes, and then it dried up. It's basically cement. Mm. Takes a moment to think it over. Yeah. To explore the seas. Free as the wind. That's a stupid dream, mate, but I like it. You've got Kutzpah. Captain Sora. 
I love Sora and Jack's friendship. It's nice that he has, like, an older male role model. Why do you keep saying final? Sort of? I mean, it's very... It can be antagonistic at times, but, I mean, he is trying to be friends with a pirate. I kind of expect that, so... Yeah. It's not antagonistic in a mean way, either. It's more banter than anything. You ever just blow up and turn into the crabs, by the way? I did that earlier. I thought they were going to kick me out of the cinema, but I managed to recompile myself in time. It got to me just running around, like, half completed with a gigantic thing in the top left corner of the cinema screen. 150 out of 300 end Tom Crabs. Just turns out Tom is just a bunch of ducks in a Tom suit. Weird. For now, the real me has a crucial engagement. Oh, fuck, are you at Xehanort as well? Where the pirate brethren will meet Beckett and then just, he kind of throws this in out of nowhere, and again, I didn't see the movie, I'm like, I'm sorry? <laughs> yeah, the pirate brethren, the meeting, is completely skipped here. It's where we meet uh, Jack's dad and whatnot, and uh, yeah, obviously not in the game. Ka, 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 oh, never mind. He just explodes like you do in Metal Gear Solid when you're a boss and you lose. The Fury! Well, gosh, that's the 50th fucked up thing we've seen this week, sir. Man, I'm kind of surprised Donald or Goofy don't have some sort of PTSD for the shit they've seen. I would say Goofy has it more than Donald because he's captain of the guard. Like, Donald spent most of his time in the library just reading books like a fucking nerd. Now he decided to be a mage. It's his fault. But a fight for pirates is a fight I just want this, and then the next Come shot, they're pirating stuff from Jack. Disney now. It'd be great. <laughs> oh, beautiful. So yeah, we get the ship all to ourselves. And again, when you're collecting crabs for it, you can upgrade the ship somehow. Do not ask me. I've never owned a pirate ship. I've also never collected 300 crabs, so I'm a little <laughs> lost as you. If we ever, like, meet up, we will go to the Florida beaches and we will attempt to find 300 crabs and I will film it. You will not do that, because I ain't doing it. Because I ain't going outside if I can avoid it. It's going to be a five-minute video, like, four minutes is the introduction. All right, guys, let's start. We found one crab. Let's go home. No, just film me. I'm, like, halfway down the beach. I just turn around. There's fuck all, Captain! <laughs> Oh, Davy Jones circumventing the he cannot step on dry land thing by fucking stepping in buckets. He must have had to test this, by the way. Don't be bashful. I think Davy Jones may have overdressed for this occasion. Possibly, but he's like damned, so I doubt he even feels the heat. Also, um, I know you mentioned the buckets thing. I really want to see his feet again because I did not notice that the first time. The big old pincers. I see. They also cut out. Um, Will's dad, uh, bootstrap Bill Turner, and uh, he was a, a cool character in the film. Not here, sadly. Will leaves with us. Okay, I'm following you. You can take Jack. Yes, I like this. Going good, going good. I like this chick's talk. Done. Jack's one of the nine pirate lords. Now there's fucking pirate lords. Do you have to win a card game to be a pirate lord? What's up? I'm a pirate lord. All I did was start a let's play shuttle. I'm a fucking ninja. Mecha Lord, there. I there's only one, and I can invite more, but I'm not gonna. Do you mind, Barbosa? We're in the middle of a parlay. You don't talk to a Ninja Mecha Turbo Lord that way, okay? I'm each part. I'm gonna add one to that, and I'm gonna see how far I get at the end of this series. <laughs> oh, you'll forget about it in five minutes. I I probably will. Hmm. Yes. They're over there, stand next to Octillery, there's a good lad. <laughs> You've got tubes on your face. Oh god, the uh, CGI, or the animation is so good for Dewey Jones, in-game and in the film it originally came from. It looks really good here. Advise your brethren. You will all fucking in die. Fact, in fact, it's going to be die. like... Or We're going to make Famous Wars look like a fucking game of tag. Somehow he's the villain. I don't, I mean, again, I missed the second movie, so... <sighs> he's British, and, and he British want done. land. That's their thing. Not mine, though. Just got to put that little addendum there. Mm, I'm fancy. See you on the next part. Goodbye!